hey gems welcome back to my channel i don't know but today i'm a little bit a lot of bit excited Daddy. and i'm not excited to talk about sin i'm just excited okay yeah. this is kind of one of those talks where i'm guilty i'm quite guilty of some of these things so the bible a lot of the time speaks about your flesh don't fall to your flesh for we can fight not against flesh and blood um don't fall to sexual immorality like your flesh your flesh your flesh is constantly being mentioned in the bible now what does it even mean when they're talking about the flesh now the flesh obviously you know skin and flesh flesh and bones kind of thing like this it's a physical conversation it's a physical thing we're talking about the part of you that operates in the physical so the part of you that wants to gossip the part of you that wants to lie the part of you that it's really hard sometimes for me to explain certain things because in my head it sounds really good and then i say it out loud and i'm like eh? so now flesh is like you your physical being your the way you are right now, this me that you're seeing, the seeing, the part the eyes can see, not whatever you, you know, not meta, not in the physical, I mean, not in the metaphysical world, but in this world, okay? In this physical, this earth, this dimension, okay? And sometimes I know I've operated in flesh. I mean, and by that I mean, for example, I've had moments where I know, I feel it. This is probably wrong. I probably shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna go find out for myself kind of moment. It's like, I know it is not the best decision to be making right now. You feel it's not the best decision. Your, con your subconscious is talking to you. Your spiritual side is talking to you because they know something you don't know yet or that it doesn't want you to go find out. But the flesh, this part, this curiosity in this world, this I want to know things, this well, I want to have this experience myself moment, that part of you that fleshly part of you takes over. So now the subconscious is shut down. You don't listen to your spiritual side. You don't listen to the intuition. You don't listen to any of that and you go and do it anyway. So that is kind of what I mean by operating in flesh. Like you do certain things to your physical body that your spiritual side does not agree with or does not want you to be doing because it already knows where it can take you. Let's let's you know be a little vulnerable here let me give you an example so i used to drink i'm working on not drinking a lot okay often and <laughs> at first you know it was innocent we was at parties or some type of situation and then it became more regular wherever whenever however now there was a piece of me that knew i knew i probably shouldn't be doing this right now or when i would go to work a little with wine in my cup i probably shouldn't be doing this right now <laughs> or i would i remember my first oh my gosh high school college high school college i don't know who the heck i thought i was doing it at work drinking at work like we were we were like taking like i don't even know who the heck we were we were at work taking turns to go outside to drink like but part of me was like is this even right is this even okay no it's not but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm acting in my flesh and then it's like once you don't get caught once you um, see you can get away with it or no one noticed or um, it was like overlooked or like 
You felt like you were normal. I continue to do it. I put myself in more risque situations where I'm like, yes, I'm doing this. Knowing good and well, this is probably not okay. There could be a lot of negative consequences, but it's like, you know what? My flesh wants it. I'm going to give it to it. Like we're satisfying this fleshly things. But again, the Bible says for this fight is not against flesh and blood. It's a spiritual fight. So that spiritual what was happening is the enemy or we like to sometimes say the enemy is the one who's constantly testing us. But God doesn't allow anything to happen without his permission. So clearly he gave permission. He gave he gave access, okay? So I was being put through a test to see will I heed my intuitions and the thoughts that Yah puts into me, the Holy Spirit. Will I heed those thoughts and ideas or whatever they may be, those premonitions that are coming into my mind? Am I going to listen? Am I going to shame my hear and obey those things? Or am I going to just live for this world like what are you gonna do when you're giving two decisions one it's good for you spiritually and the other one is good for a, what it was what is what you say i'm here for a good time not a long time so which one are you gonna go with which one are you going to do now most of the time 80 percent of the time 95% of the time, I would say, actually, I would go with the fleshly part because it felt good. Yes, I would go and get drunk. Yes, I would go and get high. Yes, I would put myself in these situations. Even though, like, I literally tell you, I'm telling you, my body would not be okay. Like, my internal, that, <laughs> the internal part of me, like, my physical body was accepting it, but the spirit part of my body was not accepting it because I would like tense up in certain situations even actually no my body wasn't even accepting it but my mind wanted it so bad okay my flesh didn't even want it but it was just like I am so used to living in a flesh in the flesh I'm so used to my patterns and my way of doing that I could not break those habits that like no matter what my body was telling me because at this point the spirit done was like you know i tried like this my body was against it my spirit was against it but my habits i couldn't break them my worldly habits could not be broken okay so like what i'm saying what i'm talking about specifically is like whenever it comes to smoking I would get anxious. I would get this feeling in my stomach. I felt so uncomfortable. Like I didn't even know what it was, but I'm like, anyone, some, some, anytime someone talks about smoking, anytime someone talks, say they're gonna, I get this feeling, but did I, did I, I didn't listen. I would still do it anyway. And yes, the next time I was fine, like, and yes, nothing would happen. And so I'm like, well, then it's just, but no, that's that, that's that spirit. That's that feeling. That's that. Don't listen to your flesh. Don't fall for it. Because what does it know? Why, is, why do I feel that feeling in my stomach? Why do I feel this uncomfortable, anxious feeling? Okay, so I have it by reverse. This is that I want to read. So this is Galatians 5. We're going to start at 16 until the end. This I say. Walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, sedate, sedations, heresies, envying, murderers, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is joy, love, 
peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. And if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be serious of vain glory, provoking one another and being one another. First of all, I clearly need to build my vocabulary because I ain't know half of those words, okay? When you're just doing things, committing sins and fornication and doing things to hurt your body and hurt yourself, you think it's for the for your betterment, but it clearly states right there, things like drunkenness and envying and you know those things they are wrong they're not good for your flesh they only are hurting you they're not helping you and when you're fighting against your fear your spirit and your flesh they can't those two cannot coexist at the same time it's either your flesh is existing or your spirit is exist is existing so i would prefer i would choose now to live more in my spirit because my spirit tends to know what's best for me the ruach kakodesh knows what's best for me and will better help me navigate this life whereas the flesh was only let me live in the moment have a yolo moment um here for a good time not a long time those are not mantras or verses that i want to live by so all that to say living in flesh and living in sin hurts you more so before you drink before you lie before you cheat before you s tell a lie before you do any of that listen stop listen be still and see what is my spirit telling me about this specific situation or this specific thing that's about to happen am i operating in my flesh is this because i want it is this because i need it or is it because it's necessary and a lot of the times they are not necessary. It's not necessary to lie. It's not necessary to drink and get drunk. It's not necessary to gossip and murder. None of that is necessary. And none of that is of the spirit. So think before you speak. Think before you act. Because we want to live in the spirit and not in the flesh. Because the flesh will only lead us to our demise. And that's the video for today, guys. Don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment below and i would like for you guys to tell me let's have a vulnerable moment so this is a safe space so come here talk let me know what are you dealing with what fleshly um worldly problems are you suffering with and how can you plan to get out of it and to live a better life so thank you gems and have a good day